Hello, this is Craig. This is day 20 of my 30 day video challenge. I want to start by asking a question. What is your generous contribution? As you know, based on yesterday's video, I'm reading a book called The Practice Shipping Creative Work by Seth Godin. In his book, Seth says something fantastic. He says your contribution, the one you want to make, the one you were born to make, that is what we're waiting for. That is what we need. So I ask you, what is your generous contribution? What are you wanting to make? What were you born to make? When we avoid putting ourselves out there, when we avoid putting our writing, our artwork, our music, our videos, whatever it is we create, when we avoid putting that out there into the world, we are robbing people of the blessing of whatever it is that we do. We do it because we are scared. We, are, we do it because we fear rejection. What we don't often think of is all the people that need whatever it is we do. So today I started my day much like any other day, and I came across a video. I was watching a video by the title, Good Story Wins, period always, period. And is by a photographer, a YouTuber, a filmmaker by the name of Peter McKinnon. And if you haven't watched Peter McKinnon's stuff, you are missing out. His channel often inspires me. He's funny. He has a way of being humble, yet he's incredibly brilliant. In this particular video that was titled, Good Story Wins, period, always, period, Peter starts by announcing the winners to a contest that he had held back in 2020. And so in this contest, he had asked filmmakers to submit a short film. And I think he gave him a pretty tight deadline to submit these films. And the one he announced first was third place, and it was for a filmmaker named Jordan Dunseeth. I apologize, Jordan, if I butchered your name. He announces Jordan as a third place winner and begins to play her film and immediately her film just sucks me in it has me from the first moment the first like few seconds of the video just kind of captured me and had me i don't even know how long it was it wasn't very long that made me curious about what else has jordan made and so i went and checked out her channel i was so taken by her short film i was like wow i wonder you know what else she's put out into the world i was treated to several videos that were just fantastic jordan has this ability to mix different techniques that i don't understand she uses music and sound in an incredible way and she uses all kinds of shots that just took my breath away. And on top of that, she has a way to talk about life or whatever is going on and interweave her faith into it in quite a natural way. It's not something creepy. You don't feel like you're being preached at. It is just her faith and she's just sharing her story. I was just completely blown away by Jordan's work. She's doing some incredible things. I look at Jordan's work and I immediately think this is her generous contribution to the world. This is what she wants to do. This is what she is born to do. And what she's putting out there is what we need. Seeing this, seeing her work immediately reminded me of this quote. Immediately. It was exactly what I would imagine. And likewise, when I'm thinking about other people's work that I really enjoy, the ones that I really just love are those people that are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. They're doing what they were created to be doing, whether it's music, film, art, writing. They're doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing, and they're putting it out there in the world. And that is incredibly generous. That is their generous contribution. And when they do it, it's one thing because it's just a huge blessing, but it, it's also, you know, allows them to thrive. They can make money and make a good living doing something that they love. And their generous contribution is sharing with the world whatever their gift is. That's pretty much it for today. But I want to ask you the question, what is your generous contribution? What is it that you want to make? What is it that you were born to make? Because that is what we're waiting for.